When working with height maps, it's easier to work with a complete black background and build on top of that. But the flat surface of a displacement map does not start at black or zero. It starts at a middle gray or 0.5. While in designer it looks fine, should you apply the material to a surface which touches other surfaces, you might find that your surface is pulling too far backwards which creates a surface gap or it starts overlapping the other. So to demonstrate this, let's first go to the height map node, create a uniform color, set it to gray, connect it to the height map. You should now see it uh, bounces back if I set this to 0.5 and I go to the material settings and you need to use the tessellation uh, for it to actually apply, set it to zero, nothing happens. But if I, let's see, if I put it back to one and I start decreasing the value, you can see the entire material or surface is starting to pull inwards. So the default position is actually at 0.5. So when you get in a height map like this, uh, you kind of want to try to balance the distance from the 0.5 value. So if you want the white surface here to be a little bit above the normal, and you want the other blacker values here to be a little bit out below, but not at the furthest back position, you need to correct this color information somehow. And you can do this with a set of blend nodes. So you should always optimize your graph by setting your uniform colors to 16 by 16. Then you set this to 0.5 and you use this as a base color value. And then you apply the levels or the what's going to be connected to your height map on top. Then as we set this to screen, we will add the uniform color 0.5 at the bottom and then uh, place the values coming in on top of that. The nice thing with using a screen is that um, it keeps the relative uh, value. If you see this color value, we are at uh, 0 0.0, somewhere around there. And at the about the highest point is 0 0.5. That's a half distance, you can say, from uh, 0 to 0 0.5 and the utmost value is 0 0.1. So that's half a distance. If we check the uh, blend node here, we can see that this is now 0 0.5. And the highest value is now 0.7-ish. That means it still has the same relative distance. It's still half a distance from the maximum. But now we're going from, instead of going from 0 0.0, we are now going from 0.5. But the actual distance traveling from 0.5 to 1 and the actual value here is the same relative. So now we have a way of uh, adjusting our height. We can also adjust the opacity to affect the actual distance. If we want it just to be a little bit above the normal, we can do this release now by just adjusting the slider. And then we need to do the same thing with the background. It's the same concept here. We can just copy this. But now we want it to uh, multiply. We can also reuse the uh, uniform color node here, set that at the bottom. And now we want to invert the map here basically, we want to affect uh, the uh, colors at the back here. So we can take a level node, connect the what's going to be the height map, and flip these values. And we can also tighten it down a bit, so make sure we only affect the uh, portion we actually want to affect. Connect it to the node. And now we can set a maximum depth value. No matter what value I have set this opacity slider on, the other areas, which is uh, masked out, will not be affected by the slider. So now I can easily, if I want this portion of the surface coming in to be 
0.4, I can easily set it, or if I want it to be uh, something like 0.2, then I can do that as well. So now I can easily affect the distance coming in here. If the texture in the background here doesn't suffice, you can also drag in another texture and you can also connect it to the top here. So now that we have a way of adjusting the height values and also the lower values, we can now try to blend this together. Since we have a inverted mask here, we can attempt to apply the bottom layers on top. And then we can apply the bottom layers at the bottom here. So now by double clicking, we have this uh, node in the texture view or do the 2D view. And now I can adjust the colors here to affect the distance and so on. So now it's really easy to fine tune the actual height you want the textures to be at.